She Walks in Beauty, written by Lord Byron. Now, introduction. This poem tells us about the sensitive side of Byron. This poem gives a picture of a beautiful woman. She is perfectly beautiful. Her spiritual beauty matches her physical beauty. Now, the first stanza. She walks in beauty like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies. And all that best of dark and bright meet in her aspect and her eyes. Thus, mellow to that tender light which heaven to gaudy day denies. Here, gaudy means very bright and denies means does not give. Now, explanation of the stanza. In these lines, the poet says that an ideal woman, Lady Wilmot Horton, walks about in a perfect beauty. She is as beautiful as the sky full of stars at night, when there are no clouds. Her face is bright and her eyes are dark. Her face has a right shade of brightness and her eyes the right shade of darkness. Her brightness is soft and sweet. Her brightness is not even possessed by the bright day. Now the explanation of the same stanza in Hindi. In Pankthiyo mein Kavi kehta hai कि एक आदर्श स्त्री लेडी विलमॉट हॉटन संपूर्ण सुंदरता में घूमती फिरती है वह इस तरह सुंदर है जैसे आकाश रात को तारों से भरपूर और बादलों से रहित हो उसका चेहरा सुंदर और उसकी आंखें काली हैं उसके चेहरे पर चमक की रेखा ठीक है और उसकी आंखों पर भी काले रंग की रेखा ठीक है उसकी चमक कोमल और मधुर है उस जैसी चमक एक चमकदार दिन में भी नहीं होती नाउ द सेकेंड स्टेंजा वन शेड द मोर वन रे द लेस हैड हाफ इम्पेयर द नेमलेस ग्रेस विच वेव्स इन एवरी रेवन ट्रीज और सॉफ्टली लाइटन्स हर फेस where thoughts suddenly sweet express how pure how dear their dwelling place in this stanza raven trees means black hair and dwelling place means home now explanation in english in these lines the poet says that lady wilmot horton was a model of beauty there was perfect combination of light and darkness in her body she did not need even the slightest touch of improvement if someone had tried to add a bit more to her charms her beauty would have suffered her great beauty could be seen in her black hair and in a beautiful face along with perfect beauty she also had purity of mind now in hindi in pankthiyo mein kavi kehta hai ki lady wilmot horton sundarta ka ek pratik thi uski sundarta mein prakash aur andhkar ka theek mishran hai usme maamuli sudhar ki aavashyakta bhi nahi thi yadi kisi ne uski chamak ko thoda bhi badhane ki koshish ki hoti to uski sundarta nasht हो सकती थी उसकी महान सुंदरता उसके काले बालों और सुंदर चेहरे में दिखाई देखी जा सकती है अपनी संपूर्ण सुंदरता के साथ उसमें मन की पवित्रा भी थी नाउ द लास्ट स्टेंजा एंड ऑन दैट चीक एंड दैट ब्रो सो सॉफ्ट सो काम येट eloquent the smiles that win the tints that glow but tells of days in goodness spent a mind at peace with all below a heart whose love is innocent now explanation 
In these lines, Byron says that Lady Wilmot Horton's simple and noble nature can be seen in her innocent face. She is always smiling. Her cheeks and eyebrows look very delicate and calm. They express her character and goodness in a very effective way. Her bright smile is a sign of the fact that she has led a virtuous life. Her face makes it clear that she is at peace with herself and her face is full of pure love. Now in Hindi, in Pankhtiyo mein kavi kehta hai ki Lady Wilmot Horton ka sada aur nek sabhav uske masoom chehre se dikhai de sakta hai. वह सदा मुस्कुराती रहती है उसकी गाले और आँखों की भवें बड़ी नाजुक और शांत दिखाई देती हैं वह बड़े बड़े वह बड़े अच्छे ढंग से उसके चरित्र और उसकी अच्छाई का वर्णन करती है उसकी सुंदर मुस्कान इस बात का चिन्ह है कि उसने अच्छा जीवन व्यतीत किया है उसके चेहरे से यह संपष्ट पता चलता है कि वह स्वयं शांत है और उसका दिल पवित्र प्यार से भरपूर है